Unit H, Excel 2010, Sorting Rows in a Table. Begin reading from Excel lets you analyze a separate range and finish reading this paragraph. When you have finished, begin with this tutorial. For step one, click cell A5, which is right here where it says Sales Rep. Then, also make sure you're under the Home tab. If you're not, please click on the Home tab. In the Styles group, click on Format as a Table. And then it asks us to select Style Table Light 9. So we want to be on the Light group. Here's a Medium group. We want to be on the Light group. And then we count 9. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. As you notice, a little pop-up shows saying Table Style Light 9. We click on it, and it selects A5 to G13. Notice we have this Format as Table dialog box pop up as well. This is telling us you have the following cells selected. Is this true? You can change this here now if you want to, but we're not going to. Also, notice there is a My Table Has Headers. If we uncheck this, it'll create headers above the table currently, but since we already have table headers, we're going to leave it checked on. So we click OK. Notice now that we have a table that is openly organized, and each one can be seen. I'm going to space these out by clicking, double clicking between E and F as well so I can see the words February, Return, Sales, Commission, and F and G. So they're all readable. You don't have to do this. This is not required. This is just something extra I'm doing. All right. Now that it's in a table, it wants us to click on the Total Row checkbox so that we can see the total row. To do this, Make sure you're in the Design tab in this new, and make sure the table is selected. Anywhere in the table can be selected. If you're outside the table, the tab disappears. Click inside, notice this yellow tab. It's called Table Tools for the Design tab. Opens up. Now what it wants us to do, under the Table Styles option, select so we can see or show Total Row. Notice this row called Total appears at the bottom. So if we uncheck it, it hides. If we check it, it shows back up. So now total row is there. Next, click cell G14. Currently we have a number in there. What this is doing is it's summing up the commission. Position your mouse over the fill handle tool in the lower right corner of the G14 until it changes to the, of course, the black cross and then drag it to cell C14. So we want to drag backwards to cell C14 and now it adds the sums up for January, February, the returns, the total sale returns and keeps the commission one there as well. In cell B5, click on the cell. Notice when we click on the cells in the total ranges a little arrow to the right pops up or shows. It happens on all of the total ranges. So we'll click on cell B5. Then it wants us to click on the arrow and then click sort A to Z. Sorry. Make sure you click on B5. I was clicking on B14. So we click on B5 under the state and click A to Z. Notice the table slightly changes. What changed? If I undo that, notice right now it says CA, 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 WA, WA for Washington, OR for Orlando, ID for Idaho, and AZ for Arizona. If we sort it A to Z, it'll put Arizona at the top followed by California, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, and then it moves them around. It doesn't move any of this information around in weird places. All the rows stay together, aren't attached together. 
Check figure H18 to make sure yours matches. Next, click the Home tab. Click the Sort and Filter button in the Editing group. So we find the Editing group, and then it wants us to get the Sort and Filter button. Click the Custom Sort. Now we get this new dialog box where we can add our own custom sorting or however we'd like to sort something. This allows us, in case we just don't want to sort one column, we'd like to sort multiple columns out. Like, so we want to sort state, then we want to sort it by maybe February, and then total sales. So in the example, we click on custom sort. Now we want to click add level. Click add level, and then click the then by list arrow. And we click then by and select click total sales less return next click the order list arrow this is your order and click the order list arrow for it click largest to smallest right now it's set at smallest to largest so we want largest to smallest compare your screen with H19 and click OK now it sorts two fields. You can see this by the state where it's got an arrow saying sorting by and it defines that sort. Next it sorts total sales less returns and it's got proof that it's doing it. So it's not just a single arrow, it's got a little extra arrow in here defining that it's first sorting by this, then by this, and then it goes through the rest sorting. Once you see that your figure or once you see that your table matches figure H19, save your changes. That ends this tutorial. Continue on to the next.